Welcome back to Cop Tool, I'm Scott. Rob's on vacation, so filling in is the man seated next to me, the power tool giant himself, Jay Amstutz. It's Friday, February 8th. To all shocks the corded tool industry into Boss Garage, slam dunks a smartphone. Dirt Monkey plays dress up and Harbor Freight ratchets up a big win. Those stories and more coming up next. This is your Cop Tool Week in Review. We start off this week's show with RR Buildings, whose latest Tools Day focuses on the new Bosch 12-volt cordless portable planer. Kyle openly admits that upon arrival, he thought he wouldn't have a use for it. But after a while in his shop, I'm like, yeah, I'm not probably ever gonna use that tool specifically. And now it's just like, hey, what can I, what can I plane? I mean, look uh -huh. at this. Not really sure if he uses the tool because of its, it's the best option or if he just has a tool crush. Either way, for a detailed breakdown of the Bosch 12 volt planer and all its features, go check out RR Buildings on YouTube. Toolguide.com shared news this week of a major recall from DeWalt. Two corded drills, the DWD 110 and 112, have potential shock hazards when internal wiring contacts moving parts. As a power tool professional, I can tell you, this is not optimal. Stuart from Tool Guide says 122,000 drills are affected, including 8,000 drills in Canada. In related news, Milwaukee just announced a recall on all Makita tools. Something about the color. It seems that every week we're reporting on the latest addition to the Ryobi 18 volt tool system. There are so many, in fact, that we can't possibly mention them all. So we've put all the names of the new Ryobi power tools into this bowl, and I'll be reporting on the one that I pull out. Well, looky here. It's the Ryobi P317 18 volt three inch crown stapler. It's a battery powered stapler that offers a depth dial on the back as well as a force indicator meter on the top that tells you if you're driving at the correct depth. Oh man, this, this one would have been way better. The guys at Tools in Action attended the World of Concrete last month, and this week they shared a sneak peek at the CAT gas-powered wheelbarrow. This yellow beast carts along with the help of two horsepower and offers a whopping half-ton capacity. It brakes automatically by transmission and keeps the front wheel locked when not in motion, making it easy to dump. We were hoping to follow up with Dan from Tools in Action, but he disappeared after the show. All we have to go on is a viewer-submitted photo. Check out the cat wheelbarrow from, for yourself at Tools in Action on YouTube. Rob's on vacation, but hopefully Sarah isn't. I can't wrangle Jay all by myself. I mean, let's see what Sarah has found in her projects of the week. Hey guys, this week while I stayed indoors, warm, and avoiding Ohio's weather mood swings, I spent a lot of time watching other people be productive and get all their projects done. This first project is from Third Coast Craftsman, where Chris makes an industrial desk that is just amazing. He prepares a giant live edge slab and gets it ready to attach to the metal base that he had built in an earlier video. Now he used an assortment of tools from his shop that were both modern and traditional. I personally really liked watching the hand planing because there's just something to those shavings. I feel like I now better understand the guys from RR Buildings. <laughs> anyway, go check out the Third Coast Craftsman over on YouTube. In the next video, Michael Alm makes a battery-powered LED task light. Now, this little light has a custom laminated arms that nestle together and will slide open when you need it and will tuck away nicely when you don't. Now, he also made a custom 3D printed head to hold the LED. It is such a fun, compact task light that would be perfect for any desk or workstation. You can find a series of photos on his Instagram or the video tutorials on his YouTube channel. Now, those were my picks for this week. If you find a project that you think I should feature on the show, send it to me in an email at projects at coptool.com. From Carhartt and Dickies to heated gear from Milwaukee, DeWalt, and Makita, pro tradesmen have a ton of options when it comes to work gear. Luckily for us, the glorious greenskeeper himself, Stan the Dirt Monkey, gives us his personal opinions on all makes and models. Now, I will warn you, this isn't a typical head-to-head -head review. This is 40 minutes of watching Stan play dress up with his wife and crew and a little bit of watching him walk his fox. You know, normal YouTube stuff. Get the full scoop on all the best work here at Stan the Dirt Monkey on YouTube. You know, Scott, speaking of non-traditional video reviews, DeBoss Garage gave us a review this week of the Sonom XP7 rugged phone. The Sonom XP7 is a waterproof phone that can stand up to the toughest of jobs. To demonstrate, Rich runs over, runs it over with his quad, a Honda Civic, a three-quarter ton Silverado, and then throws it into a bucket of water. Well, throws it into a, 
eventually just drops into a bucket. Still, still fine. It, were, it takes the forklift to crack the screen, but it, it still works. Which got us thinking maybe Home Depot could use the same material in their unbreakable flashlights. You can enjoy the carnage yourself at DeBoss Garage on YouTube. It's been a while since we visited real tool reviews on YouTube, and he's back with a pretty shocking head-to-head -head comparison video between snap-on torque wrenches and the new line of Icon torque wrenches from Harbor Freight. The results were surprising to say the least. RTR puts $100 Icon half-inch torque wrenches up against Snap-on's $400 versions, and it's not even close. Tested for both accuracy and consistency, the new Icons came out way in front. Go see for yourself at Real Tool Reviews on YouTube. Last week, Scott put the finishing touches on his inside look of the new Milwaukee M18 threaded rod cutter. Now, we realize maybe 10 of you actually need this tool, but Scott put a ton of work into the video, so please go watch it. Hey, thanks, man. That means a lot. Of course, man. And if any of the 10 of you want to get one of your own, Ohio Power Tool is taking orders now at an amazing price. There it is. Go check it out. <laughs> Scott. Scott's inside look on Cop Tool on YouTube, and then go place your order at ohiopowertool.com. Hey guys, thanks for watching. That's gonna do it for us this week, our 47th episode. Congratulations to Tiffany Shanzenbach. Bach? Shanzenbach. Tiffany, Runner. hope I got your last name right. But <laughs> either way, Tiffany, no matter how you pronounce it, you won the Makita uh, Drill Combo Kit from ohiopowertool.com. Speaking of ohiopowertool.com, right, you have the uh, this guy right here, Jay. What can they win this week? Uh, it's $250 uh, gift card to the greatest power tool store on planet Earth, the people are saying. That's what they're saying. So what power uh, tool uh, uh, store is that? Uh, I believe it's Ohio Power Tool. Oh, yes, yeah. yes. Well, we were just saying it's the greatest. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's the people out there. Saying people, that. lots Most, of people. Lot of people. Yeah. Yes, so fantastic. Jay, thank you so much. Uh, don't forget, coptool.com, gear for uh, this show. We got t-shirts, hoodies. And of course, mugs, mugs. Uh, just flying off the shelves. Uh, go, so go check that out. <laughs> Jay, thanks for coming out. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for having me, and uh, next time I won't be... Maybe we'll let you stand up. Oh, my God. <laughs>